We all love highlight films. And if you say you don't, then why are you even here? And why are you looking at me in line? So we thought, we like lists. Mm -hmm. We like compilations. Mm -hmm. We like taking things and putting them together and seeing what's better than the other. So why would we not start the series off with the greatest college football highlight films of all time, Makes guys? Makes sense. And this is our bag. When we cover all sports, yeah. like a warm blanket in the wintertime. But this is deep in our bag. Coach, both coach for a long time. Uh, watched a lot of highlight films. I enjoy watching this, but I will say this. If you are a coach, don't recruit just off a highlight film. You need to recruit off game tape because a lot of guys look good on a highlight film. That's why it's called a highlight film. Now, some guys are just aliens, and we've selected them. Let's start with the alien number one, Cam Newton. Let's go ahead and throw that bad boy up there. All right, here he goes. Monster Question. in the pocket. <laughs> I don't care if it is against Arkansas State. Gone. You shouldn't be this big and this fast. <laughs> Watch him turn it on here. One, two, three, four. That's four steps four in 10 Arkansas yards. State. That's at least four or five. And here he goes again. South Carolina, you're broken. Yeah. Crazy. Six, six. He crazy jumps from about the this. eight. Yeah, watch him jump from the eight-yard line. Fine. Oh, my <laughs> God. That's why they call him Superman. Show it to him. It's not Clark Kent. It's Cam Newton. And then against Portland, um, Kentucky. Watch this In throw. your face, Randall Cobb. Laser. Stop it. Bottom. Dime. Stop it. I mean, you can't be that big, what running that do? fast. And look, was Cam Newton the most accurate quarterback ever? No. But I've never seen a more dominant college player. Because to be honest mm. with you, that Auburn team without Cam Newton, probably eight and four at best. Yeah, they had Nick Fairley. That was it. You had Nick Fairley yeah. on defense. They didn't have one guy on that offense start an NFL game. And this was the first season after I had gotten done playing and graduated from the University of Michigan. So really like the first college athlete that I was watching for the first time post my college career and was just like my jaw would drop each week watching this guy play. And he was from Georgia. Mm -hmm. Now my younger brother, Aaron, played Cam Newton in the playoffs in high school. He came, uh, Statesboro, I think they came to Statesboro and he called me after the game and they got knocked out of the playoffs. And he goes, man, they had this incredible quarterback. He's committed to Florida. And I was like, okay, well, let's see, you know, let's see how he does. Next thing I know, he's playing for Auburn, making these plays. He's a Heisman Trophy finalist. And the play that really got me, all this throwing and 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 running and everything was great. But when he caught that touchdown. Oh, yeah, Ole we Ole have it on Ole here. Miss. Is it on here? Yeah, Miss. We have it on here. Let's run, let's, Play let's, that. Let's, let's run that bad boy. All right, you can see he He's at wide receiver. Cody Burns is at quarterback. He throws it up in the back of the end zone, and Cam Newton high points. One hand. With one, well, or catches the ball with one hand, with the sun in his eyes. With the sun in his eyes, I thought it was an incredible play. That was the one I was like, this is different. Do it all. It's a do it all type of cat. It's, I, yeah, I was not surprised. a Philly special. I was surprised you put him at the end. No, you can put yeah. Cam Newton at a lot of places uh, on the football field. Some guys are just. Great at this game, and he happens to be huge. So Cam Newton, he's up there, man. I mean, he's top five for me. Yeah. All right, next one. You got this one, B. The witch. The, at the highest order was Johnny Menzel. The kid's absolutely skating. The angles that Johnny Menzel would take to miss people would blow your mind. Here we go. I know it's SMU, but this is early to, uh, Johnny Menzel, Texas A&M. Bing, 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 bing. I'm a quarterback. I'm going to break your legs. Get off me. All right, look. Oral money, whatever it is. Pop it open, baby. Show him the Superman. Remember Hogwarts how it with. started with Cam, but here comes Johnny. This is against Arkansas, 44 to 10. Okay. Angles, angles. Mm. As a defensive coach, Jake, how pissed are you at when that? Um, 13 flavors of pissed. My thing is, you run. The man runs in figure eights. You know, it's like hard to catch oh. people that run weird. How do you it's not hard fall to tackle down? people that run weird. Johnny Manziel would in, would create angles that I didn't know existed. Like, watch this Third one. And 10. Watch this. Gone. Mm. Gone. I mean, there's been geometry teacher teachers that have drank themselves to death watching this, trying to figure it out. You don't get the nickname Johnny Football unless you can ball. Oh, and he could oh. throw. Goes Obviously. into Tuscaloosa. Goes into here Tuscaloosa. Go. Here it is. Fumble. Here. Yeah. Catches it. This is the play I remember most here. Bam. Goes into Tuscaloosa, beats number one Alabama. He brought the backyard to leg legitimate high-level football. Is Johnny Manziel the, the, the most backyard quarterback we've ever seen in college? Possibly. Up there. Denard, Robinson, up Denard there. Robinson played like Denard, that. Denard, yep. And I got to see that one firsthand mm -hmm. in person. Was John was Johnny the first freshman to win the Heisman, wasn't he? I believe so. First freshman yeah. I believe so. I mean, this dude, I mean, you guys know if y'all follow football, Johnny, I, I know the NFL didn't work out like we all thought it wasn't going to, but his highlights in college are absolutely sick. And what do those last two guys have in common that we've showed you? They're both what? Transfers before the transfer portal had the freedom it had today. Mm. Johnny Manziel transferred. Mm -hmm. What's the biggest summer secret to great looking, glowers, glowing summer complexion? It's having great skincare products from our friends at GenuCell. The sun, it's humid, mm -hmm. dehydrated skin, 
covered in dark spots and even puffier bags under the eyes are a problem for all of us except David. Genucel's beautifully created Summer Essentials okay. package is a limited edition that includes their one-of-a-kind Ultra Retinol Super Duper Moisturizer. The Ultra Retinol is a powerful plant extract alternative to retinol without the harsh side effects, and it's perfectly safe to use in the summer sun. Plus, you'll get Genucel's classic skincare therapy for under eye bags and puffiness and concentrated vitamin C, not made from concentrate, but concentrated vitamin C serum to nourish your skin from a for a visibly clear complexion with a glow that, will that gets compliments everywhere you go. All right, I like the dark spot corrector. All right, for all the time I spend outside in yeah. the summer, you know, grilling, chilling, making a killing. Nice. <laughs> nice. All right. Go to Genucel.com. That's G-E-N-U-C-E-L.com slash booster. Right now to get your Genucel Summer Essentials and just for the summer, every subscription order includes a customized summer spa gift box. Absolutely free for or as we oh, say back around from on, for the frizzle. All right. That's genucel.com slash booster. G-E-N-U-C-E-L dot com slash booster. Use that code. You got skin in the game. Take care. Well, I love watching great quarterback play. But you know what? It can't be a true highlight film unless you show, show some running backs. Maybe we take it back to 2005. Oh, Reggie, Reggie Bush, Bush. Southern Bush. Cal. Reggie Maybe Bush we see action? what's really real. Right before I was going into college, play some of this Reggie Bush action. And take this man to Wendy's. Oh, says, oh, oh God, get off me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when you're that good and that fast, you don't have to put the ball in the other hand. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> The signature flip. That yeah. was Reggie's thing. I wow. remember watching a freshman Reggie Bush and Matt Leinart, I believe, coming to Auburn in 2000. Watch this, watch this. Right here, I'm going to set oh. you up. I'm gonna set oh, you up. Now no, you know. how your ankle's not gone. Get off me. Reggie was skating. Reggie was a legitimate 4-3, guy. See, this should have never that. worked. He missed that. This should have never worked. This is it. See, you'd be thrown in prison for that block now. But like, there's no way that should have worked. He missed that. He missed, he missed that, that hole and st still scored. Well, there's a, there's a, everybody thinks it'd be a, gr a great band name. Don't bounce the power. Oh, there you no, go. I remember yeah. this. Was this Fresno? Behind the back. Oh. <laughs> and here comes speed. And here comes speed. Finish it. It's just different. And he like, runs heavy. You think about Reggie. Reggie would run heavy. He would run heavy. And it, when you have that speed and that agility, like you don't see that combination a lot and run back to that high of level. And Reggie was the first guy was making moves like Reggie. That Fresno State game, you could take almost every play from that Fresno State game and make an highlight film. Sure. Well, and and like the, the crazy thing about Reggie Bush, too, is his highlight film from high school is ridiculous. And he was only a three-star coming out. I don't know how you looked at that highlight film. It's like, oh, he's three stars. Yeah, that was crazy. I was going to ask you, was Alex Smith his quarterback in high school? Didn't they play together? I'm not sure. In Helix? high school? Because he went to Helix. I think you're right. David, I think you're I'm right. look it up real quick. God, I'm, I've actually um, to play against those guys. Yeah, you've lost. You're done. Hey, you welcome do? to the game. You've lost. Yeah, what are you going to do? At that point, your goal is to not to lose by 30. Yes. 24, take it. Helix High School in La Mesa, California. Alex Smith and Reggie Bush were high school teammates. You'll love That's to see right. Wow. And I know I mentioned Reggie Bush's high school highlight film is nasty. But this next guy, I know we're talking about college, but he has the greatest high school highlight film I've ever seen because he scores on every play and he doesn't get tackled for 13 minutes. It's a Forrest Gump situation. 13 minutes of not getting tackled. <laughs> you couldn't catch COVID from this man. You couldn't touch him. <laughs> like, it's just the truth. But this is him at West Virginia, where Noel Devine went to, yeah. who has an unbelievable high school highlight film. Let's go ahead and watch Tavon, the witch. The witch of the West. Tavon also did it all, man. I'm surprised he wasn't a better pro. Like, I know he's been he good. He's okay with I know the he's Ram. good. But, I mean, this guy's, this This oh, is 4-2. This is 4-2. I just Bye. always wanted to know what it felt like to run this fast. Yeah. Throw it 94 plus and run this fast. And and there's there's not a lot of guys that run that fast, but when you mix the vision and the instinct and the ability to do this. Oh, yeah. oh I mean, no. Again, it, God, West Virginia beating Clemson 63 to 20. God almighty. You remember Pat White, too, from yeah, West Virginia? I oh, I definitely Daphne do. High School. Watch this. Watch the watch the expro. These aren't slow guys. He's wow. no, that's te that's, that's Texas. Texas. This was Texas back when they played defense people. a little bit. Yeah, they could tackle more than a math problem. But now Tavon, way 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 up there to me. If I got to go, if I had to go put together a a group of ten personnel, one back and no tight ends to go out there and trips open, Tavon Austin's out there. Get him into. I don't know if I'm putting their running back. Mm -hmm. If I'm putting him, you know, in the in the slot. It's either one of those two. Hell, you could probably line them up at tight end and find a way to get them open. There's a do-it-all type of guy. Yeah, Especially football player, one of those man. guys on special teams, being a special teams coordinator yourself. Yep. To have that guy oh. back there on punt return and kickoff return just brightens your day. It has to be a lot easier waking up to go to work at 5.30 in the morning when Tavon Austin's your Would have been nice. Yeah. Would have been really nice because, you know, we, and we didn't ever play against Tavon in West Virginia, but we played against Dre Archer 
who is kind of in a similar cut. He's not Tavon, but Fine. he's he's nasty uh, at Kent State. And like it gave me like I was just staying up all night. Like I was seeing him like in my kitchen, <laughs> like and in like in like my living. That's when you know you're a problem. Yeah, yeah. You're a nightmare. Then, then it turns out he was my roommate. So it's crazy. Um, but no, in, in all actuality, it was very scary. But uh, this next guy, Honey Badger, a little scary too. I mean, I, it wouldn't be right, especially sitting to the left of you. Yeah. Right. If we didn't have a defensive. Exactly. Guy. I appreciate. And that. Honey Badger's a Honey Badger's sophomore year, right before he got on the trouble a little bit later in his career was one of the best defensive years I've seen in a long time. This was good enough to, to be in Heisman Talks, in my opinion, because he also did what? Return kicks. Return, return kicks. Yeah. So let's go ahead and run it. I think this is one of them right here. This is against Oregon. This is a beautiful oh, yeah. Him. Oh, oh this, this, this is him actually covering. Give, me, give it to me. Balls out. And then I want it. That's exactly wow. The amount of times he did that this year will blow your mind. You know, if you're wearing number seven in LSU, you're about it. Here he comes. But the thing about the thing about Honey Badger is Rip. he wouldn't just turn the ball over. He would get it and go score. I mean, like he would find a way to go score. I mean, you're talking about it's one thing to get a turnover. It's another thing to put points on the board. I mean, look at this. that. On, That's incredible. Man. I mean, come on, dog. Come on, man. Like, like poor West Virginia. Some some things you just can't teach. Here we go. And Here this is returning. something you can't teach right now. I remember here. this. This totally flipped the game. I'm gonna go inside, Ooh. cut back. Here it goes. Ting, 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 now ting, you're ting, gone. Ting, 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 wow. ting, this is ting, when the LSU ting, defense was was compared to that Alabama defense, yeah. right? When the games were were seven to three. Love the effort right there by the punter. Or when the games were <laughs> seven to three. And this is an SEC championship game. Yeah. Shout out Aaron Murray. Down ten, nothing. Huge. He did this twice. Watch this. In the SEC championship? Yeah, I believe, I believe he had two punt returns. Get into the wall. See, you could not throw any of these blocks. Now. Get off me. Wow. Get off me. I'm it's gone. A touchdown. He goes wide. Yeah, you have no later. chance. And Honey again, the <laughs> lineman at the end of it. <laughs> and at, at that point, you got to grab an ankle or something. Something hurts. Like, this you can't view, get though. embarrassed like that in front of your family and everything like that. But uh, no, man, this guy, Honey Badger, just absolutely different. Oh, God, oh, oh this was God. the other one. Yeah. yeah. Look, I mean, at look at that. Oh, stop. Wow. Wow. He's going to get back. Oh. Man. Oh, dude. He was built different, man. That LSU team was really fun to watch. It really was. Got those games against Bama were just mm. absolutely like, mm. yeah. This well, fight. So Les Miles will get the eye formation to run the sweep. Yeah, and you stop eating grass. That's why they should have turned into AstroTurf. <laughs> you know, something like that. But tell us, uh, who is the best highlight film? Ha who has the best highlight film out of the five we just showed you? And who would you add to this list? Because we may be a part two. So tell us in the comments and check out our live weekday morning show. I'm talking about everything sports, 7:30 to 9 a.m. Eastern on this channel, our Daily Wire Plus. Yeah.